Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to another uh, tutorial uh, Employee Payroll Management System uh, using Java and this is part 11 and this uh, tutorial we're going to learn how to uh, insert uh, data into the database and how to create the employee form so uh, head over here to your project and click here uh, new JFrame form and we're gonna call it add employee click finish there you go so now we're gonna add in our uh, text fields <coughs> we're roughly need about 16 uh, text fields and 16 uh, labels so just drag and drop and that's four and you're gonna copy that and then you're gonna paste and that's four copy this and there you go that's 16 and we're gonna need label here's the label that's two that's three and that's four now now we're gonna, we're gonna copy that and that's four and you're gonna do this, this, this and this there you go and then you're gonna copy the whole, everything here There you go. So now we're gonna we're gonna name them. So this one will be employee ID, and it's gonna be first name. This is her name. This is date of birth. And this is email. This is going to be the contact. And this is going to be the address. Uh, let's say address one. And this is address two. I mean, you can name them whatever you want. I'm just naming them to whatever I want. <laughs> and this is apartment or house number and this is going to be uh, the postcode and it's going to be the department this is the signature I mean you can customize it to whatever you want in the end so date hired and you can do the basic salary and the job title and for this so you're gonna say status Okay, so now we're gonna name our text fields, which gonna change the variables. So this is text imp uh, let's say text ID and this is gonna be and this is gonna be 
text first name this is gonna be text surname this is gonna be text date of birth and this is gonna be text email this is gonna be text tell and this is gonna be text address this is gonna be text address too you can just do whatever you want anyway so this is gonna be text ap2 to the apartment this is gonna be text pc to the postcode this is text apartment and this is text designation whatever and this is text uh, date of join which is the date hired anyway so and this is text salary And this is text and this is text job and this is text status and now just just remove this Okay, so now what you're gonna do, I'm gonna provide a code, it's in the d description down below. Just copy and paste it to your database. Uh, I mean, go to your database here and go to execute SQL and just copy it down below and paste it here. I'm saving you the time. This is gonna create a database with all the tables that we need and you're going to click on, on SQL and there you go staff information and it has everything that we need and you can just view the structure you can browse everything here all right so now we're going we're gonna to write our code so go to source actually we need a button first so let's put a button here and we're gonna say add record so whenever we click it's gonna answer the database so you, dub you double click and you go in here and um, so now I'm gonna copy and, and paste the code and there you go and it's the code and now we need some uh, we're gonna need uh, to write some shit in here. So the first thing that you need is to paste the imp copy and paste the imports in here. Uh, just, just paste everything. We'll do, we're gonna use everything later on. Um, you don't need this anyway, so just do that. All right. So and then the next one is gonna be here. And then the last one is going to be in here. And there you go. It uh, should be error free, and you're going to save that. And you're going to run, and we're going to add a record, and we're going to see what's going to happen. So go to your code, just click anywhere, uh, just go run. And there you go. So I was, we're not going to put any ID. So. Put anything. I'm putting numbers now and add record. And data saved successfully. And uh, let's see. Let's refresh and there you go. 
I mean, notice here that you have the gender and the image. Uh, didn't put anything in it. That's why we got the error. And I'm gonna stay tuned for the next videos. Uh, I'm gonna post um, on the image and the gender, the radio buttons. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.